Ever wonder who might be connected to your computer? I get that thought a lot. If you do this simple step that will take two minutes, it will show you who might be connected to your computer. Welcome to Tool of Tips Thursday, a series where I introduce you to a new tool or a new tip that proved useful for me in my career. Today's tip will be using Netstat to identify any network connections that might look a little odd and try to identify evil. So heading over to our demo machine, the first thing we want to do is open up a PowerShell window. In order to do that, we hold left shift and right click and click on open PowerShell window here. Now that the PowerShell window is opened, we can go ahead and type in netstat ano. The three columns that we are interested in is the foreign address, the state, and the PID. Under foreign addresses will be a mix of both internal and external IP addresses. We are mainly interested in the external IP addresses. For the state, we are interested in any connections that are established or if you happen to see SYN sent as well. For the PID, this tells us what process is responsible for the network connection. So knowing this information, we can do a couple things. We can start by doing an IP address reputation lookup using various open source intelligence websites such as VirusTotal or Abuse IPDB, for example. Secondly, we can look at the process that is responsible for initiating that connection. In this demo, I'm going to go through the process ID path. And in order to take a look into that, we need to open up a task manager. And to open up a task manager, we can go down to the task bar here and right click and open up task manager. This will bring up the task manager. The second option that we can do is hold control alt and delete. This will essentially open up this window and then you can click on task manager here. Once we open up task manager, what we are interested in is the details tab. And then you want to sort the PID from there. You essentially just match up the PID to the initiating process. So in this case, I'm going to take this one, for example, 10904. We see that it's establishing a connection outbound towards 18.234.207.168 on port 8888. Again, it is established, meaning that it is a successful connection. And the process responsible has an ID of 10904. So I open up task manager, sort it by PID and look for 10904. In this case, I see 10904 as Google Chrome.exe, which is kind of odd. I don't know if Google Chrome establishes a connection on port 8888. What we can do now is right click it, open file location. This will open up the location where that binary is located. And from there, we, we can run a file hash, for example. So by doing that, we can open up a PowerShell window and run the command get dash file hash, type in the binary of interest. So in this case, it was called Google Chrome. So because I'm lazy, I'm going to just type in Google and hit tab for auto completion. And now I hit enter. This will generate a SHA-256 hash. We can double click that hash and then upload it to VirusTotal to see if anybody else has seen that file and if it's malicious or not. Understanding this information is extremely critical to determine whether or not your computer had been compromised. If you do identify a malicious outbound connection, if it's just your home machine, run an antivirus scan to see if it detects it. If not, hopefully you have a backup. You might need to do a full re-image of your machine. If you enjoyed that video and found it informative, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to.